ibex, or bucato, once lived in abundance. However, over the past two centuries, thanks to overhunting, their population was decimated. And by 1999, only one female was left alive, a 12-year-old named Celia. In the last attempt to preserve the species' genetic resources, Spanish scientists performed a skin biopsy and preserved her cells in liquid nitrogen. A year later, in 2000, Celia was found crushed under a tree, ending the living lineage of the Bucato family. Previous studies into interspecies nuclear transfer have resulted in, in live young, such as the gore and the mouflon. For the process to begin, the eggs of domestic goats are enucleated and coupled to the fibroblasts of the bucato by electrofusion. They are cultured for 36 hours and placed into either a Spanish ibex or domestic goat hybrid. Two experiments had taken place. In the first, 285 embryos were reconstructed, 30 of which were transferred at the 3 to 6 cell stage into five recipients. The remaining 255 were cultured a further seven days and pla placed in blastocyst stage into eight recipients. It was hypothesized that the blastocysts would yield more success than those transferred at three to six cell stage. However, the blastocysts produced no pregnancies. In the second experiment, 154 embryos were reconstructed and placed into 44 recipients at the three to six cell stage. One of these recipients carried pregnancy out till term and thus, in 2003, a morphologically and genetically identical Bucato female was born by caesarean section. However, the female died a few minutes after birth due to lung defects, which is a common problem in cloned sheep. The results show that the eggs of domestic goats support the mitotic cleavage of Bucato karyoplasms, and that the somatic cells of Bucatos can be reprogrammed to develop into an embryo and eventually an offspring. The outcome of these experiments encouraged the preservation of somatic cell tissues of endangered species for future use in conservation-based programs. Conservational cloning is by no means the most effective way to preserve an endangered species, but it holds hope for those that are extinct and a promise to restore the biodiversity of Earth and bring back those that were lost at our hands.